welcome all today we will study how to use switch case in c programming so our concern is using switch case so we will try to understand it using a simple example so we say that let us build a very simple and basic calculator where uh, we can add subtract multiply and divide uh, two integers so let us say we have two integers int let me call one integer as x and another let me call as y and uh, let us say we will store the answer in another variable let us call it a and s for storing the answer okay then uh, for uh, switch uh, we again need uh, one variable let us say uh, for that we may call int let us call it v for example the variable which we will use for switch then we will ask the user Uh, please enter two integers so then we may because these are integers we will write percentage d fine then we can write again but we should write again percentage d because we are taking two integers then semicolon uh, then a double quote then a comma then store the first integer in x let us store the first second integer in y now we have two integers uh, now uh, we want we will uh, ask the user what operation does uh, he or she intend to perform so we will say enter for example one for addition if you want to perform addition enter one two for subtraction three for multiplication and four for division so let us scan the uh, that thing so we will put that in in v the option that the user gives done now let us use the switch statement now we should remember that the switch statement is a, a good replacement of if else in a set of if else we can use this switch way uh, to choose between many options when we have many options in c and we have to choose one uh, we use switch so this is the way to write it switch then the variable and the operation that the user wants to perform then a curly bracket then we write case c a s e so there are two keywords here one is the switch keyword another is the case keyword okay switch to which case case 
So the first case is one because one we said is for addition. So if we had to perform addition of the two numbers, then obviously the answer will be answer will be a plus b should be a plus b. So the case one is this. So this is complete. We just had to do an addition. Um, then whenever we uh, complete a case, we write break. This is another keyword in C, break. So the break means that this portion is done. You just exit this switch thing. Now you don't need to move further. You don't need to check for case two or case three. We are done, just move outside the switch. Whenever break is found anywhere, it means that segment is done. Just move out of that segment. Here the segment is switch, so it will just move outside the switch. No more execution inside the switch will happen. So since this is done, then we can write case two. What is the case two? Case two says subtraction. So it A minus B. Then a break. Then we can go for case three. What is case three? It is we should do a multiplication B. Break. Then this is case four, which is a division B. And break. Since we are dealing with integers only, here this division will imply uh, the finding of uh, quotient. Right? This will not give a fractional value because we have kept all three variables as integers. If we keep them as floating point numbers, if we declare them as float, then this, it will be a normal division, which will be a floating float answer floating point number as an answer. Since we are done with all cases, uh, we uh, it, it is preferable that we write a default here, which is again a keyword. What is meant the, by the word default? Default means that if the user doesn't press any of these things, if he, he doesn't enter one, nor two, nor three, nor four. If he enters some other thing, for example, he enters five or minus seven or any other thing, in that case, uh, this default will be executed. So since we are giving only four options to the user, in default, we can write printf. We can write. incorrect option implying that you didn't enter the correct option you should have pressed entered one or two or three or four you have pressed an incorrect option so then we may go uh, since the switch thing is over we can close this thing and we are done switch is complete we started the curly bracket of switch and here we ended that curly bracket done now the only thing needs to be done is that to print the answer because till now we have not printed the answer we have found the answer but we have not printed it so we can write the answer is equivalent to percentage d comma what is the answer a and s then there is another way we can write this printf uh, inside the case also but then we have to repeat it at case one two three four we have to write it four times to save that we may put it outside and 
at the end we may put a get ch easier and we are done let me save this program let me call it switch dot c let us run this program it is showing two errors let us see what are those errors it is saying we have an undefined symbol a okay uh, we did a small uh, mistake here that we uh, declared x and y but we used a and b so let me declare a and b so we now we have declared a and b and we are using a and b it should be like this obviously so this is done so we may save this program and again run it let us see now this is okay uh, please enter two integers let me say i enter four and i enter six uh, enter one for addition two for subtraction three for multiplication four for division let me say i have to do addition that is one So it is saying the option is incorrect. Okay, let us see. We have done some other mistake in the code. So we are taking two integers a and b, and then we have an integer v. Then we took two these things, uh, then this thing switch v answer is a plus b the answer is equivalent to percentage d and answer so let me first do one thing put a clear screen so that we don't get confused with uh, what is previous and what is new let me put it like this okay so we have two variables a and b answer is c v done then we take two integers from the user then okay here we have a mistake that we have to put m percent here because we are scanning it, this thing so now let us again run this program enter two integers let me enter five and three and one for addition the answer is eight okay now let me again run this program so five and seven let me do the multiple uh, uh, subtraction two is for subtraction enter the answer is minus two good let me again check if i have a four and i have 20 for example so let me do a multiplication here three answer is 80 fine again let me check if i have a six and I have a two, then I do a division, four stands for division here. So the answer is three. So this way we can do this program. We can make this simple basic calculator. The same thing can be done with if else also. So there are two ways to do this thing. Now let us see another uh, thing that we call as a 
conditional operator or a ternary operator. So let me modify the same program. So let us see how do we use a ternary operator for a conditional operator. Okay, what is the conditional or ternary operator? Uh, it is an operator that can be used in place of if. So if I, I have, for example, in this case, uh, let me say uh, this, if we see at this thing, we have two uh, integers here and we can um, let us take another integer c then we have three integers then we say that um, please enter two integers a and b we will get two integers then we will check that if integer a is greater than b then if integer a is greater than b then for example print f a is larger else print f a is smaller a is larger than b a is smaller than b or may be equal done right so we say it like this if we have to do this thing that we can use if else like this so let us save this program with some other name let us call it ternary dot c. So okay, a double quotes here. Can we run the program? Enter two integers three and five. So in this case, either A is smaller than B or it may be equal also, right? So now this we have done using if else. We can use a ternary operator for the same. Now let us see how to use a ternary operator. So for the same things which we have done from here to here, we will remove that and we will replace it with a thing called ternary operator so we can write we we'll write that thing like this a is greater than b and then a question mark it implies that if a is greater than b then what you have to do you just have to print f a 
is larger than b done then a colon so this is the syntax of this uh, ternary operator so this can be read from left to right like this if a is greater than b then print f a is larger than b and if it is not if it is not greater than b then do this thing print f a is smaller than b or maybe equal then a semicolon so in a state of these four lines this one this one line here this is a second line here this is the third line here and this fourth line in a state of these four lines we can write a single line in this way which carries the same meaning as that if So let us run this program. Let us first save this and then run this program. Enter two integers, let it be five and seven. That means A is less than B. So it is saying A is less than B or in if they would have been equal, it will again have say or they may be equal. Let us again run this program. Let us say it is A is greater than B in this case. So it will say A is larger than B. So the way what this program is teaching us, the way how to use a ternary operator in place of if. In place of if and else, you can use this ternary operator. And if you want to store some value in a variable in a ternary operator, you can do it like this. So you can say if A is greater than B, question mark, which means if A is greater than B, then store A inside C otherwise store b inside c that thing you have to write here so this is the uh, format the way how you write this thing what is the meaning of all this it means that if a is greater than b then c equal to a otherwise c equal to b so this should be read like this i'm repeating what is the meaning of this thing it means that if a is greater than b then c is equal to a otherwise c equal to b let us turn this thing into a comment and let us print this c to check if the required operation has been done or not so we can write c equal to percentage d comma c so what i am doing i am printing the value of c to check whether the required operation has been done or not so let us run this program please enter two integers let it be four and five which implies four a is less than b so uh, if it is less than b the according to the program b should be stored in c right and if a is greater than b a should be stored in b let us check that condition also so if 
a is 10 and b is 5 which implies a is greater than b so according to the program a should be stored in c so the value of c should be 10 so that is it the answer the program is showing us that the value of c will become 10 so the work that has been done in this single line can also be done using if else but it will take multiple lines there so this is an alternative way an alternate way to do to do the same thing so whenever you want to use if else you may choose for the most convenient way you may either use if else and you may think of using switch switch and case and you may also use ternary operator depending on the situation on the problem at hand thank you